every other year, Welshmen invade Twickenham. So after saving up for two years, they're naturally determined to paint the stadium red and not miss any of the great match. But 1952 brought early despondency to the massed ranks of Wales, with Lewis Jones soon limping, and more still when Woodward sent Agar over for an unconverted try. Already three points down, and with only 14 sound men, Wales were groggy, and the fighting English forwards roused their supporters into something approaching the Welsh enthusiasm. But when Hall found Woodward and he went over in the corner for yet another try, England were six points up, with their supporters hoping for their first victory over Wales at Twickenham since 1939. There was no time for the home side to regret the loss of four points through their tries not being converted as the red-shirted Welshmen battered their line. But the men in white were playing the tough, determined rugby that shook even the Springboks. There's still five minutes to half time. And it's a fatal five minutes for England, as after Cliff Morgan made a great midfield dash, Ken Jones sprinted over. And Malcolm Thomas showed England how to add the goal points. England started the second half one point up, but it was still anybody's match with the winner's favourites for the Triple Crown. And just as one fan was building up his strength to cheer, Ken Jones showed England how he won a place in the Olympic Games sprint semi-final and touched down. <laughs> Final score, Wales 8, England 6. And once again, those happy Welshmen had gained possession of Twickenham.